InstaWeather Plus forecast with Chief Meteorologist Tom Tesselmeyer. Beautiful fall day across the region. We had some sun, a little cloud cover at times, and the quiet, uh, very nice weather pattern should last through the weekend and even into the early part of next week. On our satellite imagery, all you see is a few high thin clouds uh, moving through, not rain producers by any stretch. The storm that moved through here earlier in the week is now still putting down some showers up in New England, but here, we're actually transitioning from that storm into an area of high pressure, and the pattern should be beautiful for outdoor activities through the next several days. 52 right now, the cool spot out at Oakland. We're running at uh, 66 degrees in Cambridge, 68 in East, and looks like that's probably the warm spot along with College Park right now. 67 on the coast at Ocean City. And as the evening wears on and the skies gradually clear, the winds will diminish to around 5 miles an hour. That sets the stage for a chilly night. In the northern suburbs, about 3940, downtown Baltimore, mid to upper 40s. The normal is 42, so we're going to be within a couple degrees of normal. But we've got less than an hour of sunlight left. Sun sets this evening at 615, quarter past six sunset this evening. There's the big storm off the New England coast headed for the North Atlantic, and high pressure now set to build in stronger across the Mid-Atlantic region over the next couple days. And it looks like that's going to, again, carry us into the early part of next week with no major storms on the horizon for some time. There is a weak front. That'll be approaching the area over the weekend. But you can see even as um, late as 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, there are only a few little spotty showers up in the Poconos and the Catskills and a little bit of cloud cover trailing along the front into western Maryland. But east of the mountains, maybe just a few scattered clouds moving through, nothing other than that, and lots of sunshine for Sunday as well as Monday as we roll into the early part of the next work week. So quiet weather, get outside, enjoy it, and enjoy the mild temperatures too. We do have some changes coming our way for the end of next week, but in the meantime, 64 to 69 degrees is not bad, considering the normal high is 64. West to southwest winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Plan to be on the bay tomorrow. A breeze coming out of the northwest with waves averaging about a foot. Water temperatures dropping back into the low and mid 60s. Westbound into the mountains, probably past the peak of the fall color in the far western parts of our uh, state, but into Allegheny, Washington, Frederick County, some nice fall color still to enjoy. 59 tomorrow, 54 with sunshine on Sunday. Beautiful sunny weekend on tap for the eastern shore as well. Highs in the mid to upper 60s. And along the coastal areas, including Ocean City, about 67 tomorrow, 66 on Sunday. And again, we're in a mild weather pattern here for the next few days. Takes us right into Tuesday. But watch the way the upper level weather pattern changes and delivers a shot of cold air for the beginning of November. That is a deep upper level trough, and the purples there show some unseasonably cold air sweeping in across the Great Lakes, Mid Atlantic, Northeast. Halloween going into Saturday, the first weekend of November, will feel kind of wintry. Might even be cold enough to trigger the season's first snow showers in the western Maryland mountains and up toward the Great Lakes. 67 tomorrow, 65 on Sunday, and a beautiful sunny Monday with highs around 66. A mild 75 Tuesday, and then we begin to back those temperatures down. Showers coming in Wednesday, perhaps even a few showers lingering into Thursday, and then on Halloween day, scattered showers in Chile with a high next Friday only around 53.